slip on a little roller cover. Mix up a suitable gray. Got my black. Throw in some white. And that makes gray. I'm Glenn Case. I'm a Seattle-based artist focusing on a lot of murals and um, commercial work. I started painting from the earliest I can remember. Went from preschool to painting murals in the blink of an eye. It's cool, this mural's like, um, kind of looks like these guys are at a bus stop. Glenn and I have been working together now for uh, going on 10 years. It's a, it's a good partnership. We've gotten to know him very well and he's become a good friend of ours. I was working with a, a mural artist here in Seattle, James Crespinel. Who's a highfalutin uh, mural artist. Uh, come by and check him out, and he gave me some prices. He's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But he said, I have a, uh, I have a kid that's been my apprentice, so I think he's, he could do this for you. He gave me a kind of a tryout to see if that, how uh, serious I was. And here I am. Record labels don't have as much money as they used to, but it goes to say that they they believe in this and they see the uh, power that it has in selling records. It breaks through that corporate element by doing a hand-painted mural. At this point, I don't have to work as hard as I used to to solicit uh, record labels and bands. They now know his work and they're coming to us. Almost every local artist from uh, as small as Casper Baby Pants over here, which is Chris Ballou from uh, Presidents, he has a new project going. You know, Fleet Foxes, Band of Horses, to Pearl Jam. You know, they have new records out, they want to make sure that they get uh, a mural done by Glenn Case, for sure. I find that painting the Easy Street murals very fulfilling just because each project is so different. I mean, I get into the line drawing, the planning, the color aspects of each mural. You know, it usually takes Glenn two, three, four days to do a mural, and people like watching that process and seeing the, the artist at work. When I'm working outside, it draws a lot of attention. People often ask me some interesting questions. It's always entertaining. Usually it's positive, so that's good. Anytime I'm painting logos or letters, it needs to read flawlessly. Helplessness blue. That's the challenge there. Oops, the H is a little deformed. After I get a few steps into each project, I'll start to get a rhythm. You can actually feel the vibrations across a surface. I guess it's the, the music of painting. Back in the day, it really was a career. I'm trying to keep it that way. I'm trying to, trying to make it happen. As long as I do a good job, you know, I think it speaks for itself. I really love it. Watch CityStream Thursday nights at 7 on the Seattle channel.
or get video on demand and podcasts anytime at seattlechannel.org.